Hello and welcome to my channel today. Uh, it's Melinda and I am sharing for Scrapping Clearly and this is the March challenge. So they, we decided to combine our sketch, which is this one, and our mood board uh, together and use them as one challenge. I just pointed out that I'm focusing on those colours. Uh, I, I really like the combination and I found, you can see that background paper right at the bottom there. It is one, another one of those Ella and Viv papers. I love it. I really love the vibrant colours. I love the design of the paper. I, I just love it. I'm also going with the three photos. Instead of squares, I've gone with uh, rectangles. And these guys are a little bit smaller than three by four, I think. So I'm going to... Now, there's no pink in this the paper that I'm using for my background, but there is pink in the mood board. So I pulled out some of that Heidi Swap Mink cardstock that uh, Kylie sent me. I have a project come out where I've used that for pretty much the whole project. Um, but these are beautiful, vibrant, fun colours. Love them. And this pink is just gorgeous. So I'm just mounting my photos on that pink to bring the pink into the page. And I'm going to fuss with this for a little while. Because I can't cut straight. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sp <laughs> I am special. I've said it before. I'm not sure why I decided I need to trim that down a bit more, but I did, and then I trimmed it down too much, so I'm moving things. I'm going to trim my photo down. Some days, there's just little things continuously. Okay. So sticking that down. I don't know if you saw, but I have popped that middle photo up on a little bit of cardboard. That's his... Gorgeous little smile, cheeky, um, cheeky, show me your smile face. So the story that I'm documenting, uh, I actually, I was watching a process video, I think it was Chamel's last week, and she had done a page about how her and her little guy talk about their emotions and pull faces and stuff. And it reminded me that me and my, well, both of my boys actually, I've, I've done the exact same thing with and I often snapped photos of me with Jacob pulling all of his faces. So, you know, I'd ask him, where is your angry face? And he would show me, where is your happy face? And he would show me, where's your silly face, your cheeky face? Uh, and I would get some real crackers. And this day I managed to get a few, which I really loved. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to tell that story. And I've done the journaling from today. I've put two dates on the layout. One is the date the photos were taken and I've also written his age with that date. And I've also done the journaling dated, the date that I made the layout. I'm just checking this sketch to see what next. And I'm going to go with the messy, kind of painty, stripy background. At first I thought I was going to use some gesso and then go in with some colour. So you can see me get that ready. I pull the gesso out, pull my spatula out, and then go, hang on a second. Actually, I know what I'm missing. Green. There's no green in this paper. None. So there is green on that mood board. And I went, what can I use that's green? It's going to kind of work kind of like gesso, but not like gesso. Because obviously this is paint, not gesso. So I've dived into my um, Dilutions paint. This is the polished jade colour, and I am literally just smearing the colour on. Now, because this is a super thin coat, it pretty much dried really quickly. There were a couple of bits where it was a bit thicker, so I have taken my heat gun to it and dried it off a little bit. Um, but I'm really loving, I kind of had my doubts as I put this on and went, oh, what are you doing? Why are you adding more colour? But I think it works really well. I'm really happy with it. Perhaps if this is your page, it's not right for you, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. So you can see in the sketch that there is some more what looks like messy mixed media. And I kind of, again, I surprised myself with what I did next. I'm going to clear my desk in a sec. Now, I've got my black gesso. 
and I found this cool little eyedropper tool thingy in my stash buried in a tub of stuff and I'm just going to add some black gesso to the little test tube that the eyedropper fit, screws onto. I've added water to that. I'm just adding a bit more black gesso. It was a bit too runny. I'm going to put my paintbrush down and then realize that I want to mix it with my paintbrush. So I mix it all up, make sure it's well combined. I'm going to test the fluidity of this mixture because I don't want it too runny, but I also want to make sure that it's going to drip and splat the way that I want. Give it a quick shake. Fill out my eyedropper, and then from fairly high up, you can see in a sec, that, like I'm almost in line with my camera here, and I'm just doing splatters. Uh, the more I did this, the more fun I had. I was like, oh, this is fun, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I added some splatters with the leftover gesso water mix on the little um, eyedropper thing, grab my paintbrush, and add more splatters. Uh, I really, I'm really loving this. Yeah, I really like how this came out. Uh, I, In hindsight, I wish I'd left it to dry naturally, but I didn't have time to, so the black is not as black as I'd wanted, but it's still there, you can still see it, and I'm really happy with it. And I think that I have no choice now but to play with more splattery, messy, drippy fun. <laughs> I'm going to work on my title next, and the title does say, What About Your Happy Face? And I am going to use these Heidi Swap Minkable Alpha stickers. I am not going to make you watch all of this process. So I've cut all my letters out, and then I've linked them in the pink, the same as this smile word. I did want to use the smile in my title, but I couldn't make it work for how I wanted it to go. So I decided to kind of add it as a subtitle embellishment kind of thing. Now I'm going to start sticking. Again, I don't make you watch me stick all of these down because it's not the most riveting viewing in the world. I realised once I started sticking my journaling down, this photo cluster is not straight, but I've just kind of gone, you know what, tough luck, it is what it is, and it's done. I did try to pull it up, didn't happen. So I just kind of went, well, what are you going to do? Um, you'll notice too that I've actually flipped the page. I tried the smile at the top, but I had to cut half of the L off and I was just like, hmm, how can I make this work? Maybe if I flip it, it'll work. So I flipped it. I was like, oh, oh, I really like this. I like how it works. So flipped it is. So I'm just gluing uh, my bits down. I've also used one of the rubber charms from the U Rock collection by Coco Vanilla Studio. It says, that's my boy. And I've put that on the one with his big grin because he's a happy little dude. So uh, I've typed up all my journaling. On the sketch, the journaling is done in strips. And I thought with that background, it was this was the easiest way to go about it. I've added some really skinny double-sided tape to each of those strips and I've stuck it down. I've also added my title up the top there. Uh, you can see that the title kind of blends in a little bit. I end up going back over it and you'll see it in the close-ups. I go around each letter with a lead pencil. It doesn't give a heap, it doesn't make a huge difference but it does make a little bit of a difference and I'm really happy with it. Decided to add these fun disco arrows. It brought that blue to the forefront of the page again as well. These are Heidi Swap. They're really fun. They're really cute. One at the top, one at the bottom. Going to trim off my branding strip, give you some close-ups. And that is my page done. Here are the close-ups. You will be able to see in just a second that title with the pencil outline. There you go. It's quite messy. It's not really obvious, but it does make them stand out a little bit more. So Make sure you head over to the Scrap and Clearly blog. You've still got a few, no, not to the blog, to the Facebook group, um, SC Share and Inspire group. Make sure you head over there. I'll link in the description box below and you can win yourself a voucher to the store. As always, thank you ever so much for stopping by. I love having you guys here. I love making process videos and I shall see you again in the next one. Have a fantastic scrappy day. Bye.